Welcome back, my friends, to Corpse Party. And I'm excited to carry on with this because I absolutely love this game, at least um, what I've played of it so far. Continue. Now, what happened last time? We got absolutely butchered by that um, thing, didn't we? That, uh, what do you call it? That, that ghostly black shadow. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure where it puts us back to, though. Um, I think we have to... Yeah, we have to go through this again, so I will, I will skip through this. Um, because we obviously went through it on the end of the last video, so if you guys want to reread it again, just go back to that video. Um, and read through it there, but I am going to skip through it, because it's pointless us going through it again, it's just going to waste time. Now, as I said, we are nearing the stage where um, I got up to the last time I played this game. I didn't get very far into it at all. So it won't be very long now um, before everything becomes new to me. Which I'm excited for because I really want to see where this game heads um, in its direction in comparison to the um, anime tortured souls. If only there was a faster way to skip this. Ugh. <laughs> Poor Yuka, bless her. How old even is she? She must be like eight or something, I guess. Right, okay. I do I do kind of remember what I have to do here. Um, it's just doing it because it's fiddly. For anyone that's played this, then you'll know. Okay, so we need to check the door, find that it is locked. Everything changes. Goes all nasty. And that's really creepy when it goes from one earphone to the next. Which I'm pretty sure if you guys are wearing headphones, it should do the same for you as well. No, let's not. Okay, um, we need to, I think we need to walk around a little bit. Yep, then we check the door again. Find it's covered in, um, the grudge bitch. Because she seems to like being here. And then we um, get encountered with the demon, ghost, whatever thing it is. No, you asked me that question last time I promised you I'm not here to find you. Right, if we stay here, we're absolutely fine. Um, I need to plan how to get up to... Oh, wait, 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 that's the point. I need to check this door first. Uh, Latisse do countless strands of black hair, rooting it in place. Um, okay, this is different. I wonder if... Hold on, how do I bring up my, um... There we go. Items. I have no items. Um, okay. Confused. As far as I remember, you're supposed to burn the hairs off. Or something, but... I have no items. This is going to be interesting. Um... 
Get away from me. Oh, do not screw this up. Uh, yeah. What do they need all these? What? Are you serious? Um, I actually have no clue. Because we, what we're supposed to do is check the door, try to use, um, I believe, matches on it. They don't work. So we go to this white cabinet I just went to, pick up the bottle of rubbing alcohol, douse the door in that, and then burn all the hair off and get out. I am absolutely stumped now. Um, oh, hold on. Box match on the grip. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's strange. Um, I don't remember it working out like that at all the last time I played this. So we should now... Yeah, we go, here we go. Look, try to use the match to burn the hair, which doesn't work. Yeah, it wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. So what we need to do is go up, get that bottle, uh, bottle of rubbing alcohol. Douse the door in that. Be careful. Ah, he's trapped there, and then we can get out. Uh, yep. After hastily splashing alcohol along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. And it worked. Ah, with a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. Fantastic. Let's get the goddamn hell out of here! Yeah, I'd be doing the same thing, I think. Yeah, that, oh, that made me shiver a bit. That's kind of creepy. What? In an utter panic, I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. Okay. I've just noticed that little thing in the bottom right that's spinning around is actually the paper thing that they all all um, took a part of. Um, do something, please. Uh, okay, it's not. Oh, don't so don't don't tell me you've crashed. You absolute. I think it has. I'm not entirely sure, but it's not letting me do anything. Um, that sucks. Okay, it has. What I'm going to do is, um, I suppose, pause the recording here, and then I will come back to this point, and then we'll just carry on from here. So I will see you in a moment, guys. Sorry about this. Okay, then, guys. It seems um, it didn't crash at all. I don't know what the world in the world happened um, but as soon as I cut the recording there um, it just would go again so let's see if we can get it running and we can kept calling out Seiko's name over and over when I regained my senses I found myself standing in the third floor hallway Okay. Hmm. And on. On we press. Okay. There's no music. But there is some creepy shit going on. Shoes or something by the looks of it. The stall doors locked from the inside. Okay. Ah.
It's a bloody good question. Although I can't answer it, I'm afraid. She's still alive. Well, the, the first thing you want to do is put her on your bloody shoulders, you dopey sod. Stop strangling her. Um, I think I have an idea of what I need to do. What? Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Yeah, so the um, the sign has changed. And I think there's a, yep, yeah, unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket completely crawling with maggots. <laughs> yes, you can. Ugh. <laughs> Significant number of maggots have found their way onto Naomi's hands and skirt. Pretty sick, but you can wash your hands for the sake of um, somebody's life, you know. With Blankai, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Ah, okay. Hmm. So, it would seem Seiko's, um, Seiko's dead. Yeah, um, the culprits, I'm guessing. I actually recognise the one on the left and the one on the right from the anime. I'm not sure about the middle one. was agape and she was lowering the open scissors into it as if intending to swallow them whole. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> Can't... can feel the scissor blades clanging against my molars and I can hear it too. That's just... Ugh. That's kind of gross. Hands are moving on its own. Yeah. Um. You absolute ass ring. Oh, man. We're missing a finger, that's strange. But seriously, come on. Oh, um, save system data. I guess, I don't know. Um, that's, yeah. 
I know what I am going to do quickly is just um, turn down the voice volume and stuff. Continue, I suppose. Um, I don't know what happens now because obviously we died. This this um this part is basically as far as I got when I played this game before I haven't got any further than this and the reason being is because no matter what I do or what I did I kept getting that same result um, which is frustrating I didn't know how to get past it um, so what I'm gonna do is go and have a look around and see what we can come across see if I've missed anything at all um, I'm not too sure Because I don't want to be stuck on that same thing and having that same thing happen over and over and over again um, for like God knows how many videos because that will get really irritating for me and really boring for you guys. Did we talk to this guy? Yeah, we did. And this place is pretty big as well, so trying to memorize your way around is quite difficult. That's where we got that purple orb, I think, which was the infirmary key. Yes. So this is all blocked. We've read that stuff on the floor. Those doors are locked with the um, sat static TV sounds behind them. Can we get in there? Classroom. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I think this is a yeah dead end as well. But we're going to figure this out either way. So if we head back this way. That's the infirmary, so we won't head into there just yet. That's gross. What's through here? Did we we must have gone through here, but um Oh, of course, yeah, it's just where the toilets are. Strange. Um, I honestly, I'm, I'm not sure at, the, at this point. Classroom 3A, the door is locked. Um, that's the shortcut through here, isn't it? Yes. Um, what's up here? Let's have a look. Was that there before? I know this. I know those chairs were. If you should die here, you're, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Oh, harsh. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise. No nirvana. Just eternal pain. Why did I have to die like that? Oh wow, so whatever happened just repeats over and over. Quiet unknown key. Now this is different, this is different for me. Um, feel the pain of death forever. Let's not think about that. I'm not being funny, but I'm, I'm more all up for Seiko's idea now. You know, imminent death, let's just get it on. Um, because what if, what if there's a chance that you don't necessarily die during a painful way, if you know what I'm saying. Does that still count? That would be fantastic. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just my opinion, but... This is where we started. I don't believe there's anything here. But we have an unknown key, so that's obviously going to unlock a door. Um, yeah, that's just the bottom of that classroom. But there's a fair few doors it could work on. We'll just have to try and see what we can come up with. Class 
classroom 3a the doors are locked oh perhaps not there we go there we go now we're making progress this this um seems to fit the lock perfectly the door can now be opened excellent that probably not so much my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned I have a really bad feeling about this don't say shit like that Naomi trust me it'll be fine or just fine I mean it's a locked door you know what that means right booty behind what behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed can't you hear it calling to yeah well we have no other option, really, because I don't know where else to go. And there's a piece of paper. Uh, oh, a save point. There's a candle here, but it's unlit. Well, can we not light it? I mean, do we not have those... matches? No. Oh, no, that's right, because we, we had to get them out of the infirmary, didn't we? Um, bugger. Another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Ooh. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Really? I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about the newspaper now. Can't we just take one little peek? Uh, trust you, Seiko. I'll tell you what, you peek and I'll stand here. Uh, is it going to read the same thing? Yes. Um, I mean, what harm could it could it do? It's it's a piece of uh, it's a piece of newspaper. Um, but I'm going to read it regardless. Heavenly Post breaking news: A serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have read this. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, okay, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. Mm. The bodies of the um, absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973 at around 7pm. Wow, okay. Um, authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them. Alive, but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Okay, what is in... Hmm. Dead with them. Each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed. Uh, no, God knows what that says. Mutilations far too grotesque. Uh, disturbing to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. Wow. You're telling me? Um, well, I can move. Um... The door seems fixed to the wall like a decoration won't... Okay, uh, Mr. Skellington, any ideas? No, I'm sorry, it's a bit late for that, mate. We have read the newspaper. What about the candle? Will that do anything now? Unlit? No. Well, we can't get over there, I don't think, unless we can go around the... Um... Let's have a look. No, nothing. Outside the window, so dimly lit as to be almost in... in there imperceptible looms a sheer wall of dense foliage stretching as far as the eye can see there's not even a hint of what may lie beyond it okay chalkboard does nothing same thing for the door um that does nothing desks do nothing i'm a little bit confused um, are we, are we, oh, hold on, Heavenly Post, you will never leave this room, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to gather that, um, 
creepy music's kicked in. Not happy. Um, yeah, making me shiver a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm stuck. Uh, don't know what to do. And the ambience isn't helping. Same thing. Oh, man. Um, maybe I shouldn't have read this newspaper. Are we in, like, a loop now? Are we stuck? I hope it's not the kind of thing where you have to just restart from where you was and do it again. Because that would make this room poor. I mean, what was the point of coming in here? We used that key, but we've gained nothing. Did that skeleton just sob? Oh my god, I've got the biggest shivers. There's no way out. Yeah, I can tell. What do we do? Hmm... This is your fault, you know. Oh, what? How? Hmm. Oh, Naomi's getting a bit agitated. Okay, um... Scare the crap out. That was a bit strange. Panicked sigh. What's gone? The paper doll scrap that you got from Ayumi. Oh. 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 Well, I'm sure we can find it. It's not going to be far if, um... If you dropped it somewhere, it's going to be around, isn't it? Oh. But what I want to do now is, now we've done that... Um, I do want to save it. I want to see if these matches are here. Yes, they are. Okay, that's cool. Okay. So I am going to save it now. Now that we've done that. I mean, it's something different. Um, I've not come across that before. So I'm not sure if that will change anything. But hey, it's, um, it's worth a go. Oh, shit. Okay, we're gonna have to go through this again. I didn't actually click on the bed at all, I didn't realise it does it automatically, but with any luck. See here again, this is all the same um dialogue that was, you know, that happened last time, so I'm not going to um, hang around for it. あと there is so much dialogue in this game. I wonder if it keeps up the same pace all the way through. I mean, it's good because it has an in-depth story. There goes Yuka. Here it was. I imagine we'll come across her at some point. Right, okay. Oh, that means I've got to do this bitch boss fight thing again as well. Not impressed.
Could you consider it as a boss? I suppose you could. In a way. Well, you don't actually have to fight it, though, but... Just stay alive. Right, well, let's get this over and done with. Alright, okay. So, yep. Creepy little kids giggling. Uh, yep. Trigger it. Oh man, every time makes me shiver my hair stand on end, even though I know it's going to happen. Alright. Check the door again. Yep, I can't use the uh, matches yet. Okay. No, I have not. Leave me alone. Sachi. Who even is Sachi? <laughs> yep, we know. We know, Naomi. Get your shit together. Right. So... Yes, we can use the match now, so... Excellent. Don't have to run around twice. Okay, so now we need to get up to... Oh god, no, no, no. It's so tense and on edge, because if you make one wrong mistake, that thing's going to catch up with you. Alright. Now I need to get back down there very, very, very quickly. Oh, there we go, we're, we're fine, we're fine. So let's do all that, burn the hairs off, and get the fuck out of here. Oh, excellent, excellent. Um, however, we've now still got the problem of doing whatever we have to do with Seiko to save her. So I, I don't feel like anything's changed. Um, which sucks, because I'm st still stuck. If that's the... Oh, no, hold on. Did she do... She didn't do this last time, though. Um, okay. Patter, patter. Oh, Seiko, you sexy animated bitch. Oh, nice. Well, no, we're not okay, but bloody glad to see you. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Wow. Everything's okay. You'll feel be better now. It's out of your system. Oh, does... You need me to rob your back. Yeah, you keep your hands high, girl. I think I'll be fine, thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? That would be a no. Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. Yeah. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine, I'm just glad that you're okay. I'm bloody glad you're okay and I can actually progress. Um, literally from this point onwards, well, from a little bit back now, um, well, from getting that key to open that door, this is now all new to me, um, so yeah, exciting times. I guess we'd better keep moving then, can you stand? Well, I can bloody well run. But, where are we supposed to go? Well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school, that's a good point, there isn't anywhere we can go now. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it, there I go again. It's hopeless, we're finished. And I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on, it's not that bad, we'll figure something out. Yes, we will. Optimism, see, I love this. This girl's awesome. 
Plus two to niners never say died, right? We're invincible. Mm, go that far. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, what do you say... Oh, what do you what say you and I go get our bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? It does, it does sound like a plan. If we make it back alive, sure. Mm, she's not very, um... Mm. This is Seiko, what am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you like a super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Well, she did nearly just get killed. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I'm sorry, girls, I'm not in the game. Um, what the hell's got you so so chipper? You just keep smiling and laughing. Do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? She's getting a bit aggressive, isn't she, it seems. Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a croc and you know it. Oh, wow. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. The whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her, berating, sorry. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flying from my mouth as if someone had turned on the spigot. All I could do was moan, complain and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. Yes, you are, Naomi. What are you doing? I'm sure our families 